So, is this thing on? Ladies and gentlemen, what a packed house we have here today. As president of this great university, I am here to confer degrees to the class of 2015. Having served as president of uh, about half of the universities in this country, I have given more degrees than a thermometer. <laughs> but each time I look out into a sea of graduates' hopeful faces, I feel as excited as I did at my own graduation some 47 years ago. That was when I took my first graduation selfie. I remember being a vibrant, handsome young man, much like I am now, and soaking in the experience of graduation. So I cannot blame you if you are focused on the excitement of this moment instead of the words overflowing from my cauldron of wisdom. Maybe excited is not quite the right word. Perhaps you are scared out of your wits. Your destination is unknown. Your tomorrow is shrouded in mystery. But as you march on from this day as a proud mountaineer, you will begin to unravel purpose. You will chip away at ambiguity. You will design a fruitful life. Take me as an example. Growing up in a very small town in Utah, I was the son of a school teacher and a small businessman. What would someone like me from the middle of Utah grow up to be? It took me a while to find out. I was not given a map which said point A, get a history degree, and then go to point B, which was to become a university president. Life is about finding your way. It is your turn to find yours, as a matter of fact. I am not here today to give you a map from point A to point B. No, instead, I want you to rip apart that map and head out into the world with unlimited hopes and dreams. Just follow a few simple rules and you will prosper. Be bold. Love that word. Never fear taking chances on something you believe in, even if it seems crazy to everyone else. Be yourself. I will not tell you to wear a bow tie like I do to be successful. People tell you to dress for the job you want. I want you to work for the job you want and dress the way that best expresses who you are as an individual. And last, and always important to all of us, always be a mountaineer. I left West Virginia University some 30 years ago, but I came back. While I was away, I still felt like a mountaineer. And that is never more clear than when I stand in front of you today. We are a family, we are a nation, and we will support each other. It is in our nature and will stay in our nature for the rest of our life. So without further ado, let's go. Now, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. I cannot wait to do this for real. Those kids are gonna be famous.